was almost eight years ago, I remember for the very first time looking down the barrel of a microscope. At its first view, it looks nothing uh, like an animal. The species that we work on is called Trichoplax adherens, or we love to call it Tplex for short. Trichoplax adherens are very, very simple animals. They only have six known cell types. They have the smallest known genome in the animal kingdom, and they're at the level of simplicity that we can start to make progress in understanding how they behave. It skips the step of making organs and tissues and organ systems and goes from cells to organisms. Here is a system that has no neurons, has no muscles, and have no semblance of anything that you and I would call a nervous system, but it's still capable of complex behaviors. The architecture of the animal is a very flat sheet of cells. The system has no head or tail. When you look at the animal, it's a blob. It can take many shapes, it can take many forms. And that's quite puzzling because animals are supposed to have fixed shapes. That's what we've learned so far. The remarkable thing is that the shape change can go all the way from a circular shape to an elongated permanent shape in a matter of a few hours. These animals can actually have holes in the tissue and the animal is unaffected by it. It's totally healthy. And these holes can close and heal themselves. And we found that these fractures are used by the animal and also to reproduce. It has this amazing ability to reproduce itself by just tearing itself apart into two pieces. And these two pieces can exist as independent organisms on their own. We really focused hard on building microscopy tools uh, that allow us to peer in into single cells we have the capacity now to image every single cell in a live animal. We can see how they change their mechanical state. We can see how they change their direction that they're injecting energy, how the cilia are beating. We look at this simple creature and we see it make decisions and, and move in space and behave and hunt and take energy from the environment. It's an amazing glimpse to this early fascinating stage in evolution. It is among some of the most divergent animals that we have seen on our planet. And the importance of studying these systems is that they change our viewpoint. What is an animal or an organism to begin with? We've been able to paint a picture which really starts to tell a story for how cells build animals. The discoveries that are made in these outliers really fundamentally change and shape and bring that knowledge back to traditional systems, both in medicine and basic sciences. It is an incredible moment to be able to have a big picture view of how life actually works. I very strongly feel we won't be able to figure that out if we don't look beyond our classical systems in the lab. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.